3 a.m. It's been raining all night. Somewhere in the old city hall, the phage assembly is underway. I've positively ID'd a number of the executive staff from the lower branch, but there doesn't seem to be any sign of King. Apparently, our information isn't as reliable as we thought. I will proceed with the operation. Over. A donation? Yes, to further the cause. Thank you, my child. Your help is appreciated. I pray that your heart will be filled with love and that it will become the light to guide our people to a brighter future! Mission accomplished. Center City West District Phage Liberation Army Leader Reindeer terminated. Who's next? The stone path goes on, forever. I'm walking it all by myself. It's nothing new, I've always walked alone. I just put one foot in front of the other, one stone at a time. But with every step, I have the sense that I'm getting closer to something. I can feel it. And even though I don't know what it is, I know I want it. As I get closer, I start to hear it. Faintly, the sound of waves. And I know for the first time that I'm walking toward the ocean. I can't be certain why, but somehow, in my dream, I know, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that if I keep walking down this seemingly endless path, eventually, I'll reach the shore. And I'm convinced that when I do, she'll be there, waiting for me. She'll be so happy to see me. A beautiful smile on her face, her arms outstretched, waiting to embrace me. I know she'll be there. My mother. My mother who technically does not even exist. I'm still alone, completely lost. That's when I break down and cry, and the dream is over.
establishing a nation, are they? Yes, sir. Our sources have confirmed it. The Phage Liberation Forum has started expanding their influence beyond Earth, and the movement spans throughout space. They've now publicly stated that their ultimate goal is to gain independence from the central government and establish a unified nation of asteroids. My, my, how ridiculous. King made this announcement five days ago, and word has spread quickly among the phages. Since then, unauthorized assemblies and terrorist acts have been on the rise. There's no cause for alarm. That's what our justice and administration system is for. Forty-four? Hello. So tell me, how are we feeling today? You did an excellent job taking care of reindeer. After you were finished, the public safety forces were able to break into the building and restrain the other assembly members. As usual, we've shipped them off to an isolation facility. <laughs> Your track record is truly outstanding and surpasses every other special agent that works for the Central Department. At this rate, you're guaranteed another nomination for the presidential prize. Not if King keeps slithering out of my reach. Hmm? As you know, his elimination is my final mission. Oh, I haven't forgotten. I'm just not sure I have enough time left to get it done. Of course. So what's the special occasion? You look like a supermodel dressed like that. You like what you see? I thought I'd let my hair down a little bit. It fits perfectly and looks great on you. Hell, if it makes you this cheerful, you should wear it every day. You're at the age where you should enjoy these things. I mean, you're only 19 after all. You're still young. <laughs> I hear you're leaving again. How long will the mission keep you away for this time? I'm not sure. However long it takes, I guess. I thought it wouldn't hurt to get a physical before I go. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. As a special agent, I was injected with the phage virus type SR4 in order to enhance my natural abilities. I was only 14 at the time. That was five years ago now. They say anyone infected with type SR4 dies within five years. I wonder which symptoms will hit me first. Will I start coughing up blood or will my fingernails start falling out? Huh? It's inevitable, a matter of weeks, perhaps months. So how much time do you think I have left, Garcia? Well, it's true that people infected by type SR4 have shorter lifespans than regular phages, but not all the studies have yielded reliable and conclusive results. I asked you a question. Well, there has been a case in which the carrier lived for seven years and five months, and other similar cases. There's a chance you might have another two years, 44. Look, these are your scans from today. There are no signs of your body shutting down in any of them. In fact, you're in good health. Trust me, I've been your personal physician for a long time. If I say you're doing fine, then you're doing fine. All I know is I'm closer to the end than the beginning. But thanks, Garcia. You will always know how to make me feel better. 44. It's not that I'm afraid to die. Not at all. I just don't want to do a mediocre job of it. I need to finish what I started.
I was recruited to become a special agent when I was just a young girl. I was only 14 when I made my first kill. It's been five years. I wonder how many phages have I slaughtered since then? Too many to count. I have no parents, no brothers or sisters. I am a clone, produced in a lab by the National Medical Development Organization. Just a fragment of someone, a DNA replica. Hello, this is Dr. Garcia, attending physician. I'm transmitting today's data from 44's medical exam. This is the data room master computer for the Department of Integration. Now receiving 44's medical data. Cholinesterase 470, creatinine 0 0.66, TP 7.9, albumin 4.2, hemoglobin A1C 6.2, uric acid 5.2. EX721300, Lambda876-3044. That's her unique clone serial number. Her name came from the last two digits, 44. The development of DNA research should have been a wonderful breakthrough, but before long, the government managed to manipulate the data and ruin the whole thing. They monopolized the management of DNA technology and started creating large numbers of clones for their own use. All the worst jobs, all the dangerous and dirty work ended up being forced onto clones. It got to the point where 98% of all soldiers deployed in disputed areas were clones. 44's case is a little different. She was created using specially selected DNA, so she'd have the skills and strength to carry out the government's will. But in the end, her fate is no different from the others. They're all just manufactured goods to be consumed, working only for her country, sacrificing her life. She's grown to be such an extraordinary woman. It's a shame she's already dying at the age of 19. I'm sorry, 44. <laughs> friend King. It seems that our chance has finally come. At long last, he's scuttled out from the rock he's been hiding under. Apparently, he wants to establish an independent nation for the phages. He's been commanding the underground movement for over 20 years and never once gave us so much as a glimpse of him. But now he's decided to come out of the shadows and he's within our grasp. According to our reports, King and his bodyguards mixed in with regular passengers and chartered a spaceship at the Jupiter Relay Station. The Information Bureau has calculated their destination to be coordinates 2034. So, we're talking about the 32nd planet in the Gaia Galaxy. Yes, I'll send you more information as soon as I get it. But in the meantime, I trust you will act however you see fit. Just as you always do. Understood. It's too bad you're a clone, my dear. Otherwise, I'd adopt you into the Texas family. Not nice. <laughs> Some live seven years. What does that give me? Another year? Maybe a year and a half? Either way, it's not long. I'll soon find some peace.
I'll finally be released from this empty shell. Now passing over Area 51, we will be shifting to Dimensional Compression Warp. <laughs> I thought I heard a voice. It was speaking to me. I didn't hear you. What was that? Human life cannot be sustained in the natural environment on the 32nd planet of the Gaia galaxy. Many years ago, a space station was built as a relay base for the intergalactic trade routes. Over the years, the population steadily increased, and now over 5 million people call it home. It is the largest city outside the Earth's atmosphere. Because of the high population density, its residents began to refer to it as Neo-Tokyo. The name stuck and was eventually made official. That's her. That delicate young girl is 44. There's no mistake, sir. We don't have many pictures or videos of her in action, but this same woman keeps appearing at our various subdivision assemblies. She shows up like clockwork. That kind of frequency can't be a mere coincidence. There's no doubt about it. She's 44. I see. So that's who murdered over 200 of our men in the past five years. I believe the term they use is disposed. Unforgivable. Organize an assault unit. Yes, sir. Ensure that your men make her disposal their top priority. Yes, sir. 1.30 a.m., local time. Checked into the New River Hotel. I'm going to try to get some sleep, but I'll be ready to resume operations at 5 a.m. If any new information comes to light, please don't hesitate to call me. Before you go, we received some news from the local secret police. I'm afraid that certain people have noted your arrival. <sighs> At the moment, the phages of Neo-Tokyo are in an uproar. You'd better stay put for a while and see how things go. Oh, and it would probably be in your best interest to change hotels. Do you have any recommendations? I'll have something for you by morning. All right, thanks. I wonder whose voice that could have been. It was beautiful. It made me feel things I didn't even know I was capable of. Just the sound of it flooded my exhausted, hollow soul with such warmth that for the first time in my life, I didn't feel so alone.
What did I do with yesterday? How did I let it fade away? I'm waking up, I'm falling down Can't catch my breath, I hit the ground I try to walk away, but I lost my fear I try to say goodbye but I just can't speak I'm falling down You're all that I can see I'm falling down And I'm empty I'm falling Clone to be a killing machine, 44 is the government's ultimate weapon. Deployed on her final mission, she is in pursuit of King. But what lies ahead for 44 in Neo Tokyo is something even she couldn't have anticipated. A voice that begins to haunt her and a man that challenges her beliefs. Next time on Ultraviolet Code 44, Awakening.